Hey, it's Megan from Colorado Sugar Gliders, and today I'm going to give you eight reasons why I think sugar gliders make awesome pets. Number one, they bond with their owners. They can learn their name and come when called. The more time you spend with them, the friendlier they become. And because they are bonded with you, they want to spend time with you and be with you. They can even bond with multiple people at a time. Number two, they are very playful and curious. They're a lot like a kitten or a puppy in how they play. They have a lot of energy, so they love hopping and running on their wheel. They like to climb. Uh, they climb up the tree and they'll leap from the tree to us, from person to person. Um, they can learn to glide. Or they're still kind of young and haven't learned that yet. Um, but they like getting into things. They like playing with whatever's out, any new toy they're excited about and they go to. And they're just really um, fun to play with. They'll even chase a feather like a kitten will if you put it out for them. Number three, and probably my very favorite reason, is that they are little snuggle bugs. So because they are nocturnal, they sleep during the day, and they're used to sleeping in a pouch or some other small space, so they are perfectly happy to sleep in a pouch around your neck, um, or tucked into your shirt, or even in a nice comfy pocket. Number four, they have long lifespans. They have a, a lifespan similar to a dog, so about 10 to 15 years. So that's really awesome because it gives you more time to bond with um, that specific pet and just have them longer. They're also generally fairly healthy animals if they are um, given a good diet and good environment. So you can enjoy them for a long time. Number five, they are unique pets. They are originally from Australia, although now they're bred in captivity. Um, but they're considered an exotic pet, so it's something a little bit unusual that not everybody else has. They also are marsupials, uh, so they carry their babies in their pouch, similar to a kangaroo. Uh, so it just makes them a really cool, unique pet that you don't see every day. Number six, they each have distinct personalities. No two sugar gliders are alike. Between our three, we can see huge differences in their personalities. For instance, Reggie is super chill. He would rather eat a snack than sleep or play or just about anything. And he's very calm. Lily, we like to say that she is a free spirit. She is the first one to try out new things, jump to new places. She just wants to explore. And she'll save the snacks for another time when she's not busy playing. Susie is a little bit more shy. She can be a bit crabby, but once she gets used to you or the environment, she can be super sweet and she's often scurrying around checking things out. My son Sean did a video on each of our individual gliders, introducing them. So I will put um, links to those videos in the description if you wanna check those out. Number seven, they are colony animals. They love to be together. In fact, they usually sleep all together, piled up in a knot in a pouch. They're up here sleeping right now in this pouch. Sometimes they'll even sleep curled up under this half a coconut shell. So they love being together. They'll play together and they interact with each other. And in breeding colonies, the father plays an integral role in raising the joeys. So he'll even carry them around on his back to help keep them warm um, and he'll bring food to the mother. So they're just really cool to see how they not only interact with people, but with each other. Lastly, number eight, they are just so darn cute. They are have the softest fur, big dark eyes and cute twitchy little ears. Their tails are partially prehensile. So while they can't hang from them, they can hold things in them and hold onto your finger, just so cute. They have this wrinkly little skin in between their front and back legs called a patagium, um, and that helps them to glide. And they are just 
the absolute cutest when they are holding something in their little hands to eat. So how can you not love that? All right, I hope this was helpful. If you like and subscribe, hit the bell icon. You can be notified when we do new videos. If you're thinking that sugar gliders sound pretty awesome, you can check out my video on our sugar gliders right for you. And let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'd love to hear them. You can put them down below and hope to see you next time.